Hi everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make some apple pear cranberry sauce. Now this is perfect for your Thanksgiving turkey dinner, or your Christmas dinner, or really any time at all. Now if you've never made cranberry sauce before, I tell you, I think you're gonna be amazed. It is so simple to do, you're never probably gonna make or buy the canned cranberry sauce again. It's really that good and simple. So I'll be right back in just a minute to show you how to do it. Let's go over our ingredients so we can get started. Now remember, this only takes about 10 to 15 minutes max to cook, so let's go. So we're gonna need some fresh cranberries here. This is about a 12 ounce bag. I've already rinsed them and they're ready to go. We'll need some white sugar. That's about three quarters of a cup. Some light brown sugar, a pear, a green apple. I'm gonna be using the zest from one orange and one stick of cinnamon, and that'll do it. So the first thing we wanna do is slice up our apple and our pear. We wanna get them into nice, uh, pretty small pieces. So you wanna peel and core your apple. And I'll go ahead and do this. Let me do just this first one here and I'll show you how small I think you really need to have it. You don't want super large chunks of apple and pear in this. Okay, so you take your, your apple, slice it into chunks, and I would slice it again into pieces pretty much like this. That way, uh, it's just not too big. You want it fairly small. So now we're gonna move into our pear. Now these are gonna try, these are gonna oxidize here pretty quick. Now, I, go ahead and just peel your pear. We don't want the skin on there. All right, so now that we've got the pear peeled, what you wanna do is cut it in half. And we're gonna cut out the seeds. I'm gonna try and use, if you have a melon ball scooper, that works really great. Pull that out. But you also wanna cut out this stem area here because it's fibrous and it, it's just not good in your sauce. So you're gonna to wanna to make a, a V cut, kinda of like that. Be very careful with your knife. And that should just slide out of there, hopefully. And on this end as well. Okay, so you wanna get all that fiber stuff out so that your sauce is nice and smooth. And then just make some cuts. Okay, so then you just want to cut these into nice little chunks, just like the apple. Just like that. So now for the fun part. Now we're going to cook this, and it only takes, like I said, 10 minutes. So here we go. We'll put our temperature on medium, low. And I forgot to mention earlier that you need a little water, so we're gonna add a cup of water to our pan. You want, a, you want a big enough pan also so that um, these are gonna pop and so you don't want things spilling out or bubbling out. All right, so we'll toss in our cranberries. And occasionally you'll see, if you see any bad ones that look shriveled or whatnot, just pull them out and uh, get rid of those. And we're gonna add our sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar gives it a nice little flavor as opposed to just using all white sugar. You get that little molasses flavor going there. Not too much, but a little bit. And the cinnamon stick. And our apples and pears. We'll just toss those in. And the last thing is our orange zest. So I'm gonna go ahead and zest my orange these things are great if you don't have one, but you really should get one. They're fantastic. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go around and you just wanna get the, uh, the orange part of the peel and not into the white too much. This gives it a nice little bright little citrusy flavor to it. Not too much, doesn't overpower. All right, now that I've got my orange zest in there, just about done, put that in there. 
I'm using my, this is my cranberry sauce spoon. You can see it's nice and red. And we'll just stir everything up to combine it. And when the fun part is, is when you hear the popping, these cranberries are actually gonna pop, so don't put your face over the stove. Um, it might get you. And it takes about 10 minutes, maybe a little more, to get this to cook up. All the little the cranberries are gonna burst, and then that's gonna thicken up your sauce. Oh, I can smell, I can smell the orange zest in there. Oh, it smells good. So we'll just wait for that, and once, pretty much once, it takes about 10 minutes for all those cranberries to pop, and uh, once that pretty much stops, it should be done. And it, you might find a few of your cranberries that don't pop, so you can go ahead and just kind of smash them against the side of the pan if you want. Okay, the cranberries are starting to pop. I like this part, it's the best part. I don't know if you can hear it, Hopefully they'll pop, and like I said, keep your face away because you don't want one of those popping in your eyes. You, see, you hear that? Wow. <laughs> so keep your distance and stir it every once in a while. So get this up to a nice simmer and just let it cook away for, like I said, a good 10, 12, 15 minutes. And, and it will thicken up and become more of a sauce. So let's have a look at the cranberry sauce. It is now... I think it's done. It's thickened up quite a bit as you can see here. Look at that. Look at the color. It's just so vibrant and beautiful and it smells amazing. That I can I can smell the hint of cinnamon. I can and the orange zest and it's just beautiful. So, this is thickened up quite a bit. You can see all of the um, cranberries have burst. And of course, I did help a few because I do kind of like smashing things sometimes. And uh, so that's done. So, we'll just turn it off. Let it cool and we'll serve it up. Okay, so I've let the sauce cool a little bit, and remember to remove your cinnamon stick. So I took that out, and I want to just show you here. I'm using a white plate so you can see how vibrant this looks. And it gets thicker, of course, as it cools. It smells amazing. So there you go. This is perfect, like I said, for Christmas or your Thanksgiving dinner. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little taste. Just the right amount of tartness. I can taste that hint of the orange zest and the cinnamon. Fabulous. Guys, I think you're going to enjoy this. Really, it's delicious. So I hope you'll give it a try. And I want to thank those of you that um, subscribe and share and leave comments for me. I really do appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.